I have been invited to exhibit nine selected pieces of my work in a group show here at Number 20 Arts in an exhibition called After Before. My name is Judith Burrows and I'm an artist based in North London. My work evolved from a place of lostness and uncertainty with the world in turmoil and humanity in a precarious place, as though society has lost its spiritual identity. I look for a dialogue with nature, working with organic materials and raw steel. My artwork became a journey of reconnection, using alchemical interventions on the surface of the metal as my starting point. I am influenced by artists, writers, scientists, poets, philosophers, who engage with nature, spirituality and space, as well as the materiality of steel. Artists include the Spanish artist Antonio Tapies, Eduardo Chilida and Gustav Metzger, who explored the interaction between human intervention, nature and man-made environments. Most recently, I am reading Entangled Life by Mervyn Sheldrake and Cal Flynn's Islands of Abandonment. Both explore the power of nature not only to reinvent itself, but also to solve some of the worst ecological dilemmas created by humans. The Sharda in the exhibition have been chosen from Sharda Henge. This is a group of totems forming a contemporary henge. They pay homage to desolate wastelands, landscapes made barren by human detritus. They hold a delicacy and vulnerability created from interaction with each other in the elements in antibiosis. I am choosing to work with raw steel as a manufactured product derived from the Earth's core. I am reaching out towards a conversation with nature. So this triptych on raw steel is part of a series called Alchemy 1 to 12 and it's each triptych represents one of the seasons. So uh, this is the spring equinox. The conversations take place over months, harnessing the availability of vegetation and the climatic conditions. Dead leaves and matter in winter that endure snow and ice photosynthesizing vegetation in spring through summer to morphing matter in autumn. The Gaia series was inspired by Gaia, Mother Earth, the primordial deity. So Gaia is the ancestral mother to all life. It's also an homage to Barbara Hepworth, who did a series of Mother and Child. I was amused to see that Barbara Hepworth um, has a separate identity for the child as I have here. I don't actually fix my child to the Gaia because it's an, it's an independent entity and I think that's my response to uh, motherhood. My latest pieces, and the smallest, are called small pieces of uncertainty. They are perhaps the most poignant in hoping to capture a spiritual connection to share. Each a delicate talisman evoking something precious, unrepeatable and impermanent. A breath of consciousness. The work is an experiment. The response and outcomes are unexpected leaving a feeling of impermanence and captured uncertainty, or hope that through mass individual connection, one might link on a deeper level to a global unconscious. <laughs> 